It's Monday. It's been one week since we uploaded our last uh, progression video of the trailer. Um, haven't got a whole lot done. We've been working really hard, but it just seems like it's kind of going slow. So that's okay, as long as we're making progress. Um, not too much done, but this update is dedicated to... my baby girls because we got some cool stuff that we've been trying to do to incorporate them both our dogs in this build to make it a family friendly camping experience we do not have kids so our dogs are our babies so I hope you like what you see leave me a comment ask me some questions thank you okay here is the back of the trailer and what we've gotten framed in so far is our our bed area and you can see it's going to be the same height as our countertops um, hopefully this is going to allow plenty of storage we're going to have our dresser and stuff underneath and we'll have access from the back for a nice chest and some outdoor storage the plan is to have a 8 to 10 inch countertop space here and there's going to be a wall coming up and this is where we're going to hang the mini split and this will give us room to put an outdoor cabinet and countertop for our food prep area when we're cooking outside. So we got an upper cabinet installed uh, right above our table area. Uh, but the one thing that I'm probably the most excited about is our little area that we have underneath the bed that's going to be for our dogs. So they're going to have their own little space to retreat to and they'll have a bed in here and stuff so they can hang out. This on the right is going to be our dresser drawer here. I have three large drawers for our clothes. And then we got one upper cabinet done so far above the sink. You did get the sink front edge beveled out so that we could actually pull the, the apron sink out just a little bit and that is really about it so I'm excited to get this all finished out we're gonna add one more upper that's gonna go from here down to the countertop and that's what I'm gonna use to run and hide all my electrical lines are gonna run through the base of the bed here and then around to where I'm going to do my electrical which I'm thinking I'm going to do here underneath this seat. And that's it.